Well, you know, there's probably nothing that's not already been tried somewhere before. But I will say, you know, within the Army, within the services, we do have a few things that we have implemented most recently. So there's a cyber accepted workforce, which allows uh, the federal government, in some instances, to do direct hiring and kind of cut through the red tape. Uh, the Army is implementing a direct commission program where we can pull folks out of the civilian sector with the appropriate level of skills and education and bring them in at a higher level up to the rank of colonel, which is kind of new for us, right? But if you're talking about retaining good workers, uh, about bringing new people into the workforce, uh, it's getting out to the high schools. If you're a cyber professional, you should be getting out to high schools when you can and talking to the young people about STEM education. And it needs to start early. And probably high school might be a little late, even as early as grade school. And I know that years ago there was a push for STEM education and it got kind of quiet. We need to get back into that business. I was out in Sacramento back in February, talked to three high schools about you know, opportunities within the Army and the fact that the Army has a lot of different uh, options available to them to include STEM education fields such as cybersecurity. That resonated with the kids. And so I believe if we as professionals get out there and talk to our future workforce, that will make a difference in the end.